Okay, so we're gonna take a look at this new app called Pyro. This is done by the guys at Serato, so they're the ones that do the DJ mixing software. And that's exactly what this is. It's DJ mixing software, but actually the app is the one that's doing the mixing. So you can put together a playlist and it's automatically gonna beat match and blend the tracks together. Perfect for parties if you haven't got a DJ there. And also it's great for the underground producers and music makers because it means there's more opportunity for our music to be streamed. It works much better in a mix session than it does in isolation. So let's push the button to get this thing going. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna load up all the playlists that I've got on my Spotify account. And um, what I'm gonna do is, okay, so this one here, the this is a collection of my tunes. Um, I think it's gonna be a good idea to use this because I know the tracks really well. It means that I can get a sense of how good is the mix gonna be because of uh, the fact that I made the tracks. So we're gonna start over here. Um, let me pick this one. Um, oh, wait a second, no, no, so I need to actually add all of these tracks, so they're gonna go into a mix session. So we're gonna do this, and I'm gonna see if I can set it up from the beginning as well, create a playlist on the fly, because it does have some recommendations as well, which is really good. But let's just see how it copes here. So we're gonna play. Okay, so bear in mind that I'm streaming from my iPad to my Mac desktop, so there could be some audio dropouts, all right? Sounding pretty good at the moment. Just gonna turn it down my side. So um, there's a track on my Rough Tracks label. Yeah, there was a little glitch. So that's nothing to do with the Pyro app, okay? It's just the fact that I'm streaming from the iPad to the desktop. Let's take it forward. And what I'll do is I'll put a link to this playlist in the video in you know, the descriptions below so you can check it out for yourselves. I've got no idea how much time this needs to do the blend so I've left it with a, a reasonably long outro here. Let's see what happens. Um, interestingly you can see the tempo variations here on the right hand side. So the track that's playing is 123. It looks like the next one coming in is 123, so it should be quite an easy job. All right. If I was DJing, I think I would have kind of brought the beats in now for the previous, um, from the next track. Let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. Okay, well the beats are synced. I think the clap is a beat out. But some DJs don't care about that sort of thing. I'm really fussy about it. I think people, if they've had a few beers, they're not really gonna notice. Um, so that wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Let's take it forward. Um, okay. See how it goes from the next transition. So far, given the fact that it's being done automatically, I think that worked really well with the previous one. Let's see what happens now. So I think we have a little visual indicator when the next track's coming in. So I'm not expecting it just yet. You know, that whole title area changes with the artwork. Right, if I was the app, I'd start blending in now. Um, maybe the next, oh, here we go. Okay. Now that's pretty good. So you can hear that the kind of the bar sequencing for eight and kind of four bar sections was absolutely spot on there. I'm impressed that, that was really good. Okay, let's see how it goes to the next one. So, so far, I'm impressed. Right, 
another moment of truth. Let's see how it copes. So listen to the crashes. So that's the beginning of the next eight bar sequence. And um, the sign of a good DJ is someone who actually pays attention to the structure. Okay, Let's see what happens. Okay, I'm optimistic because that transition seemed to occur at the end of the eight bar sequence. Yep, very good. Right, excuse the little glitch there, that was definitely because of the streaming. So I think we've got another one that passed. That was great. Right, see what happens on the next one. And then I'm gonna stop and we'll build up something from scratch. So you can see the varying tempos. This one's 125. In terms of the actual source tempo that is, I'm not sure what's going on, whether it's stretching it. Um, I would assume that it is. Probably using the same algorithms as Serato. Right. So this is the last transition that I'm going to run through on this playlist. Whoa. Okay. Now that's good. Wicked. Very, very good. Okay, so so far I'm really impressed. So um, what I'm gonna do, somewhere down here, there is ability to kind of clear these out and start again. And um, let's do that. So let's see if we can start with um, individual tracks. So if I go to songs, and um, let's just pick a few, right? There's a, a Louis Vega track, and let me see what else. I mean, of course, some of these, if they're varying tempos, I've got no idea how they're going to deal with it. So I'm going to try and play it safe, um, go for some kind of similar kind of tunes. Um, there's a real mixture here, as you can see. Um, I don't want to take too long, you know, because otherwise the video is going to be boring. Um, let's get uh, this Ron Trent track so um, there's one there and um, amazing this must be all of the tunes that I've shown interest in um, okay let's try that on a real mixture got no idea how it's going to cope this so three tracks and then it seems to be recommending some stuff down the bottom so I'm going to go for that actually adding this one in I'm not going to go for that ultranate um, not that one so look at this. So even if um, you don't know what kind of tunes to pick, it's recommending them. So for party playlists, if you guys are not DJs, um, this could be really useful. And once again, remember that the this is underground music that is being presented in its natural format. The fact that it's being mixed is hopefully going to get more people's tunes being played on Spotify and more people earning money from their music. So let's have a listen. Okay, I imagine this could be quite tricky. Tempo is quite slow. Let me take it near the end. Yeah, this one. So 115 BPM track, then into a 122 BPM track. I wonder if it's just going to take the 122 BPM track and make it 115. So I'm really challenging it here. see what happens you know a real DJ if they're going from a slow tempo to a fast tempo they might use an effect or something to help that transition right moment of truth I don't think it's going to beat match it. Interesting. 
interesting. Um, so you know, I was talking earlier about this whole kind of bar and beat structure that felt a little bit out, but the thing is actually the blend was continuous and it worked. Um, so it's feeling like it actually has kept that 115 BPM tempo. I might be wrong. Let me just go. Now maybe that's a bit faster. I've never been good at guessing BPMs to be honest. Right, this could be tricky. To go from that track to the beautiful people one. That's gonna be a tough one to mix. So what is our algorithm DJ gonna do here? Whoa. Oh, for a minute, I thought it got it sussed there. It wasn't too bad. Okay, look, I'm not gonna, um, uh, what I'm gonna encourage you guys to do is to do it for yourselves. Um, so you've seen there with a playlist of similar tracks, it worked really exceptionally well. Here where stuff has been um, put together, different tempos and stuff, it's trying, it was pretty good. I, I think I was a little bit put off by the fact that the audio was glitching there. I think it was to do the streaming, once again, like I said, from the iPad to the desktop on the computer. But I think it's an impressive start. Remember, this is the first iteration of the application and anything that can be done to encourage people to start streaming the underground music, I think it's a great, great thing. And um, you know, you can imagine that for a party, um, you've got some friends around and uh, you haven't got a DJ. Putting the, the kind of the musical backing together um, using an app like this is really going to work. <laughs> 